Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, last Friday night, uh, what was that, June 4th, 2021, we had our first uh, patron-only Zoom call. It was a small group, but we had fun, mostly American. We had a uh, one Australian fellow there, and the reason that we were mostly American is I had it at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so that's, you know, kind of the middle of the night for you guys in Europe. So next month... July 2021, we will be having it at a time that is more, more, what's the word I'm looking for, accommodating for those of you in Europe. So I'm thinking like, um, you know, maybe like a one o'clock in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, which should put it like what, six or 7 p.m. in Europe, so. That might be better. Anyway, one of the things we got to talking about was how do the car, guitar pickups work? I mean, you know, you understand the strings vibrate, pick up, pick it up, it comes out an amplifier. But today I thought we would take this apart and look at what is actually going on here. And uh, one of the things that we have to understand is a little bit of Lenz's Law and... A little bit about how magnets can create electrical current. So let's talk about that first. All right, before you start leaving messages and correcting me, it would be more along the lines of Faraday's law as opposed to Lenz's law. But Lenz, Faraday, um, Eve side, they all go together. So a simple demonstration. Here is a coil of wire. This is maybe 20 turns of um, 22 gauge solid core wire, which I have hooked up to the meter. Here is a bar magnet. And if we pass the bar magnet through the meter, we can get some current. Through, past the magnet through the coil, not through the meter. That would violate the, the laws of physics. And we like to follow the laws of physics. So anyway, you can see the faster we move it, we can induce a larger current. Doesn't matter which side we do it from. No, not really. But here's the thing. We don't have to pass it exactly through the center. Uh-oh. We lost the wire. We can induce a current just by changing the position of the magnet near the coil. And that is where we get into electric guitar pickups. So here is our single coil Stratocaster style pickup. Got it hooked up to the scope. And if we induce a magnetic field near the pickup. Oops. <laughs> Gotta be careful not to stick to it. You see, I'm inducing a hundred or 1.2 volt peak to peak. Well, now I'm down to half volt peak to peak. But you get the idea. The magnet is inducing an electric field in the pickups. And that is where the sound comes from. So what we can do is we can remove this white cover. This is simply cosmetic. You can get them in different colors. And now we can take a more in-depth look at our pickup. As soon as the ambulance passes. So if you look carefully, you will see this black surface here. This is just plastic. But down here, on the bottom, we have a magnet. And that's the south pole of it. Well, those magnets are magnetizing these metal pieces, which are called pole pieces. Okay. They are spaced exactly with the strings so that each string will wiggle over an individual magnet or an individual pole piece causing it to vibrate. 
Now, if we do something like this, we can take these wires out. And you can get a look right there. We need some more light for this. One moment, please. All right. So can you see the little thin strands of wire coming off the pickup there? See them coming off there? Right under that tape. Let's see if we can't... Uh, Get that off. There we go. And if I cut that wire now. There are between 6,000 and 10,000 strands of this. And it is so thin, you can hardly see it. Let's get, a, uh, let's get the caliper out here. And we'll put it in millimeters, and we'll zero it. And I bet you, I still can't get a reading. Let's see what we get. There you go. 0.004 of a millimeter. Yeah, that's incredible. It's so thin. And this is coated copper wire, so it doesn't short out. 7,000 or so, yeah, between, between 6,000 and 10,000 loops of that incredibly thin copper wire on here allow it to produce sound as the strings vibrate over it now again like i said this is a standard uh stratocaster type pickup this is a single coil pickup and it has no way to fight the 60 or 50 hertz hum coming from your ac main lines that's something different that was done in a humbucking pickup okay you guys are going to kill me if I get this wrong, but I believe humbuckers were invented by Seth Lover. If I'm wrong, say so down below and let me know. I promise I won't cry. I'm a big boy. All right? So, that's all I wanted to show you today was the theory and a tear down and pick up. There's nothing else to tear down here, okay? Like, uh, hold on one second. The only other part of this is this magnet here. Let's see if I can get it out. Hold on. One moment. There we go. So there's our magnet. Here you can see the bottom of the pole pieces. The magnet is just glued over them. And without that, you mean, you see they are no longer magnetic. The magnetism strictly came from this magnet here which is very weak actually all right guys i hope you enjoyed this look at a guitar pickup and how it works if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace